My name is Darcy Wenger. I'm a graduate student at MIT and I was a Hertz Fellow in 2009. I got a, I got a, tele, a, a cell phone call from a number that I didn't recognize, but I knew it was, it, it was, it was suspicious in an exciting way. And I, I figured, hello? <laughs> it was, it was pretty exciting. I had, um, it was a long time coming for me. <laughs> I mean, that, that sounds worse than it is, but I went through two rounds of Hertz Fellowship interviews. So the Hertz interview was a really, really great example of a dialogue. And so you, you go in and they say, tell me about your research. And so I'd say, oh, let me tell you about my research. I'm so excited about my research. This is something that I'm done. I'm working on solar cells, and here's a big problem with solar cells. And so here's a possible solution to this problem, but there's something that we don't know. And so then my interviewer says, oh, that does sound really cool. How does that work? Wait, oh, this is an interesting thing. Th this is surprising to me. Why does that happen? Why does that not happen? And then I get to explain. So we have a dialogue. We have a conversation about science. It's not the interviewer saying, tell me everything you know about thermodynamics in three minutes, go. Like, it, it was not that at all. It was very much a conversation. By far the most dramatic thing about being a Hertz Fellow is being part of this community of Hertz Fellows. It's different than any other fellowship because there's a, there's a group of people who you then interact with. It's not just your names are together on some list because you've all been fellows. It's really, it's kind of an enlightening thing to learn how to explain what you're doing to someone who's clearly an intelligent human <laughs> but doesn't have the knowledge base. And I think that's something that's really lacking in science in general because the more and more public things get, uh, it's really important to be able to communicate your science, not to just do good science, which is also important, but to be able to explain that and articulate and, and detail the, both how it works, why it's important, and then the applications of, of the science that you're working on.